Hey, when we really dig into taking care of our arm as a thrower, it doesn't matter if I'm a quarterback, if I'm a pitcher, if I'm an athlete that uses an implement like a tennis athlete, I need to have a, a systematic plan throughout the course of my year based on volume and, in, and intentionally what I'm actually using and what's the intent of the, the movement that I'm completing. So right here, this is a traditional football calendar with volume of throws on this axis and time across. Okay, you can see my season, you can see the bowl game, you can see ramping down following the season, spring ball, summer. So let's really look at starting at the beginning. Oftentimes for us as college athletes and even high school athletes, following the season, following Christmas time, we're going to have a reduction in throwing. It is a positive thing though to not just cut cold turkey, to have um, some sort of ramp down. Okay, this, this doesn't even have to include throwing, um, but, but it can. We can just kind of play, play catch, uh, play toss, real short range, just work on feel, work on accuracy. Also, start installing our off-season arm care program here. Okay? At this point in time, too, a lot of times our off-season training is going to be, be starting up. If you remember from the past video, we talked about the importance of a holistic training program. You know, the arm doesn't just exist in isolation. I need to have a great, robust foundation for my arm, arm to operate in so I can throw. A whole program, this right here, this training, is going to actually help my arm um, as much as some arm care that we can do independently. Okay, so oftentimes in college football as well, um, and in high school, fo high school football in some states, you're going to have spring ball. At this point, you're going to see our throwing volumes going to increase. Although it's not as high as maybe in season just because of the amount of days per week, it is going to see a small inflection point up. So one thing we can think about in the weeks leading up to that okay, is adding some throwing volume. I can get my receivers out. I can get some friends out. Whatever it is, I need to start throwing prior to the initiation of spring ball. In a perfect world, it doesn't matter if we're running, if we're lifting, or if we're throwing, we want to avoid massive spikes in an overall volume. Meaning, I want to go, I don't want to go from zero to 100 in a short time frame. I want to space it out. So if I know I'm going to start throwing a lot in spring ball, in the weeks leading up to it, two, three weeks out, I'm going to start to ramp up my volume so that when I get to spring ball and volume goes up, it's a smaller point of increase okay so avoiding spikes <clears throat> excuse me okay so after spring ball oftentimes this corresponds with what we have in college with exams or in high school kind of the final parts of the school year oftentimes this is a good time to get away from throwing a little bit unload our arm again much like earlier we can ramp down we can throw some arm care in there we can even just play catch but this is a wonderful opportunity to stop throwing a little bit Okay? And if I do still throw, keep a low volume and work on touch and accuracy. At this point, too, we have a bunch of strength and conditioning going on. <clears throat> that has to be intentional, okay? just like we talked about over here. Over in this period of time here, when we start ramping up for camp, I need to start increasing my throwing volume. Again, just like I did before spring ball. Maybe even more so than spring ball. Great opportunity in the summer when we don't have classes or as many classes, get my guys together. Organize some um, intentional throwing opportunities where I'm working on short, medium, long passes at different types of tempo. Throw at different times a day. Be able to handle the demands of throwing before you even get into fall camp so that when we do start fall camp, this increase here is not so dramatic. Now, when we look at fall camp throughout the season, we're going to have a pretty high amount of workload. Now, the good thing is is if we have ramped up accordingly here and we've taken care of our arm throughout the year, we should be able to handle this amount of workload. At this point in here, the main thing is making sure we can win some football games. Okay, so I want to make sure once I get done with practice that I'm ready to go for the next day. Okay, so come off the field, I'm going to continue to make sure I get my protein, refuel with carbohydrates and, and my good protein I mentioned, hydrate, and then I can work on any type of soft tissue work I need. We know that I need to keep uh, my scap or my shoulder blade really uh, articulating well on the back side of my rib cage, so I need to target lats, traps, even triceps to be able to allow that thing to move. 
also want to make sure that I'm hydrated so that uh, I actually can have that fascial tissue being able to articulate well. Okay, so at this point, following practice, we're going to have really good recovery practices. So the next day, I'm ready to go. Every point in this timeline has a specific goal. And the goal on this one is making sure I'm ready for tomorrow, making sure I'm ready for Saturday. And then we kind of come down through here. We have bowl season. You may see a little bit, a little bit of a reduction in throwing volume simply because of the amount of practices per day. But we need to stay on top of our arm care, stay on top of our positive habits because once we get back into the weeks leading up to the bowl game, we're actually gonna have another small inflection point up and have some increase in throwing volume. So we're trying to avoid spikes. We are trying to always have a plan, intentionally have a plan to be able to throw. And I really want to have specific goals. What are my goals at any point in time? Obviously, it's to win football games. That's the biggest goal. The second one is to be ready for tomorrow. I can have a big work day today. I can have a big work day today. And I can actually be ready for tomorrow, but I have to make sure I'm putting in recovery, positive habits in between that time, okay? The second part of our holistic arm care package is having a plan for throwing. <clears throat> we are a throwing athlete, <clears throat> excuse me, so we need to make sure that we're looking at it, not just from day to day, but from a wide scale lens.